वॉटर साइकिल वॉटर इज द ओनली सब्सटेंस ऑन अर्थ दैट नेचुरली अकर्स इन थ्री डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स एज आइस इन द सॉलिड स्टेट एज वॉटर इन द लिक्विड स्टेट एंड एज स्टीम और वॉटर पेपर इन द गैशियस स्टेट Let us do an activity to understand it in a better way. Take a few ice cubes in a plate and keep it on a table. After half an hour, observe. The ice cubes have melted and turned into water that is liquid. This change from solid state to liquid state is called melting with the help of an adult pour the water in a small saucepan and heat it after a few minutes water will start boiling and you shall find steam rising up this is water vapor which is in a gaseous state the process of converting water from liquid state to the gaseous state is called evaporation now remove the saucepan from the fire cover it with a lid after a few minutes lift the lid carefully look at the underside of the lid you will find droplets of water water vapor comes in contact with the cool surface of the lid and condenses back into water this is called condensation cool the water in the saucepan for some time then pour it in an ice tray keep it inside the freezer of a refrigerator Remove the ice tray from the freezer after 3 hours. You will find that the water has frozen back into ice that is in solid state. This process is called freezing. So, what did we observe? Ice melts on heating and turns into water. water when heated forms water vapor water vapor condenses on cooling to turn back into water when this water freezes on further cooling it turns into ice thus we now know that water changes its form due to change in temperature water cycle it is also known as the hydrologic cycle or the h2o cycle this cycle describes the continuous movement of water on above and below the surface of the earth the heat of the sun causes evaporation of the water from the water bodies in huge quantities the water vapor rises in the troposphere where it cools and condenses these get converted to water droplets or snowflakes depending upon the temperature the clouds so formed then come down on the earth in the form of precipitation as rain or snow on the earth water flows to rivers seas and oceans while a part of it gets absorbed by the earth and is called ground water this whole series of steps are repeated and take place continuously in nature